What is going on guys, Grunger Lab Gaming back here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to get your 20 kill badge inside Apex Legends Season 7. Anyway, I have a couple tips, this is also like one of those kill farming videos, how to get a lot of kills in Apex Legends. Let's get right into it. This is indeed going to be a compilation of things you can do to get better kills, or you can use them all together. But the first one I'll start off with is pretty easy and then I'll move on to the more complex ones. And the first one is bot lobbying. Everyone used bot lobbying to get 20 kill uh, badges. It's pretty much the only way nowadays because it's sweaty. Now you can get it legally of course, right? But you will need help. But for most solo players who are trying to get their 20 kill badge, spot lobbying is the only way to go for some of those players. So I'll leave an eye if you guys are interested in doing that method. But here are some of the more complex methods. The first one is targeting players. Now this is the one I find most better for just easy kills all around. Basically what you will want to do is stay onto the dropship till the very last. You can either go after AFK people who fall off the dropship who haven't landed and then go after them, punch them to death, whatever. Now that's not the best for this idea, right? It's not really good for this plan. So what you will want to do is you will want to sit on the dropship and see if a team disperses, right? And you can go after solo players, things like that. Now this isn't always the best way if you want to farm kills, but if you see people going off on their own, you can always send, you know, people if you see where they're landing. It's usually really easy to target them if they are solo. So let's say a whole team of three disperses, right? And you're a team of three and you can pretty much land on that one, kill them and then move on to the other two. It's just that easy. And if you are that good player, right? And, you, and you're solo, right? And you're looking for all your kills to add up and make the 20. Basically what you will want to do, right? Is just go around and wipe them. Now this is another thing that goes along with that is solo queuing and then breaking off from your squad. It's not the best idea, but if you are solo and you're going for your 20 bomb, third partying and playing it sneaky is probably going to be the best way. Now of course you cannot be camping all the time, right? You have to be out searching for players, but the middle of the map is always the best place to land and try and do this. It is always harder in trios because a lot of people kill themselves. I find it to be easier in duos because people, more teams, right? They're more spread out. But if you are looking for like that bigger group of people, three kills is definitely better than getting two. So I highly recommend whichever one you're more comfortable with because of course in trios, people drop fast because there's more people to find other people and it just is complete wipeout. And usually you cannot find any kills so that's one of the reasons why you should stick to duos now that pretty much wraps it up for solo players if you are solo crypto and pathfinder are always the best including bloodhound just to find people in general it's never fun to do it in solo so try and find people in the comments if you want to try and help you do this anyway this is how to get them if you are in a group it doesn't really matter duos is harder if you can get three friends, or you know, two friends, right, and you together, this will be the easiest. The perfect loadout for this that I find, Pathfinder, right, for the grapple the movement, you can get places even faster, scout them out. Crypto, also good scouting, and Bloodhound to track them. These are the best ones for your 20 bomb, because you're trying to find people. It used to be back in the olden days, where they, the people would come to you, and even now, if you want, you can fire off your weapon, and you will attract thousands of people to your location so that is another option but this is the best way to go it's more better to seek people out and finish them quickly and not lure them to you because then you'll have a greater chance of being third party the last thing i'll talk about in general is overall communication and strategy everyone always says you know they know this but sometimes people don't and they end up having small talk right during this important time. Never do that, always be aware, call outs, listening for footsteps in gunfire. It's always better to stay towards the center of the map, but it is okay to seek out kills. During your 20 bomb, you're going to have to be aware of people knowing that you want the 20 bomb, because sometimes when people do that, they will literally just jump off the side just so you cannot get your 20 bomb because of course it tells people if you are the kill leader and you're going for it people are going to know and they want to be jerks about it so make sure that doesn't happen and you kill people as fast as you can and don't let them get away uh olympus this uh season right it's kind of the better one to do it on because you can kind of trap people but they will jump off if they can they can get away faster right 
but sometimes it's all depending on your playstyle and which map you feel comfortable with doing this on, and even your friends, right? Whichever strategy you choose and game plan you come up with is gonna be the one that you will use and definitely make sure to practice and have a loadout that you would like, but try to be proficient in all weapons. And that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure I'm gonna leave a list of things in the comments, so go check that out, because I'm sure I forgot so much things, but those are pretty much the basics, right? It's not too hard. You have to come up with a good strategy, and even if you are playing with your friends, there is no shame in bot lobbying, because pretty much all the pros are doing it now. So you're pretty much just fighting against pros in the bot lobbies itself, and skill-based matchmaking is pretty much dead. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos like this, because I want to do more tip videos, more kind of in-person, in-the-gameplay kind of videos like this one. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys.